Hi there, my name is Ashri and welcome back to Gadgety 60. So it's the end of the week and time to take a quick look at all the smartphones that were launched this week. So let's get started. So the biggest highlight of this week was Realme GT2 Pro. Now what's interesting about this smartphone is it is made up of environment friendly material and you can actually write on its back panel with a pencil. That can be erased obviously. Now this smartphone was launched in China in January and has now made its way to India. In terms of specs, Realme GT2 Pro is a premium device that packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC, a 120Hz AMOLED screen and 50 megapixel triple cameras at the back. Now we've already gotten our hands on the device so make sure you check out first impressions on garage360.com and stay tuned for a detailed review. This week, Realme also launched the Realme 9 4G in India. Its key highlights include a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display, Snapdragon 680 SoC, paired with up to 8GB of RAM apart from 128GB of onboard storage. And for cameras, it gets a single 16MP front camera and triple rear camera setup with a 108MP sensor. Next up this week, Samsung Galaxy S20 FE 2022 was launched in South Korea. But we don't know when this smartphone will make it to the Indian market. The Galaxy S20 FE 2022 is exactly similar to the original Galaxy S20 FE 5G that was announced last year. For specifications, it gets a 120Hz Super AMOLED display, triple rear cameras, a 4500mAh battery and an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 SoC. Next up, Motorola has launched a new budget phone in India, the Moto G22. It features a punch hole display, quad rear cameras and a 5000 mAh battery. Additionally, the phone has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of onboard storage. Further, Honor Magic 4 Lite was launched in France this week. It features a circular triple camera module at the back and packs a 4800 mAh battery with support for 66 watt fast charging. Now, Honor has not revealed its pricing and availability details in India and France yet, but since this smartphone was launched in Malaysia last month at around Rs 23,000, it could be priced around the same lines in India and France. And last but not the least, this week iQOO launched a new orange color variant of the iQOO 9 in India. This phone was initially brought in Alpha and Legend colors, but now you'll also get the Phoenix color option. And what's interesting about iQOO 9 is that its color changes when exposed to sunlight and transforms into different colors. So that was a quick wrap up of all the smartphones that were launched this week. Make sure you check the description below if you would like to know more about these smartphones. And if you like this video, make sure you share this video and comment below which smartphone are you most excited about for next week.